Okay, welcome back. So we are moving along now. We are now in part three. Officially part three because there were many, many parts to part two apparently. Uh, anyway, so um, we're going to do the skeletal terms. A few other skeletal items that we're going to deal with. Alright, so let's get going quickly. Uh, let's see if we can get this done in less than 10 minutes. Or right, so we won't get the whole thing done in 10 minutes because skeletal system alone takes you a while. But anyway, so these are some of the skeletal terms that you're going to encounter. Uh, and for the most part, well not for the most part, they actually all do mean the same thing, which is simply just they all stand for bones. All bone, whichever you want to look at. All right. Uh Oz, Ozzy, Osteo, Oz. Alright, so depends on what it is that you you're trying to say. Uh <clears throat> Myo, we already talked about Myo. Uh, we said it's a bone marrow. All right. Oh spinal cord. Yay, hey, spinal. Alright. Uh and then we already mentioned chondra, right? Cartilage. Author, we already talked about author, right? It means we are talking about joints. And we also already mentioned ligaments, exactly what it sounds like ligaments, synov. It's referring to the synovial fluid you're gonna find in your bones. Alright. Uh, so let's keep going here. Actually while I'm here, I might as well go over um ligaments and cartilage, all right, tendons. All right, so different between a ligament and a tendon. When you have a ligament, a ligament connects a bone to bone. Right. Bone to bone ligament. All right. Tendon, very, very simple. Let's actually erase a little bit of this. So go back up. All right. Tendon. Hey, tendon. All right. Here we have bone to muscle. All right. So tendon, bone to muscle. A ligament, bone to bone. Simple as that. Structure. So this is the general structure of a, uh, well in this case, a long bone. All right. So we're looking at the bottom here. We're looking at the uh, epiphysis and the diaphysis. All right. Um, this will be a long bone. All right. Structure is a little bit different. In the middle, you have the medullary cavity. Um, but we are not really here to go that deep into. It. We are really just more about um, general terms here. So let's start going with the bones. All right, so let's talk about the bone types. Uh, not yet. Okay, so let's talk about it. Let's make up another thing here. Let's add one additional element in here so we can talk about bone types. Bone types. All right, so typically when we refer to bones, we are looking at four major types of bones. All right, we talk about short bones. All right. And of course, as soon as you see short, and if there's more, then it's probably going to be a long bone. Um, we have a flat bone, and we have irregular, meaning exactly what it sounds like. Shape is irregular. All right. So let's first begin with our short bones. All right. So our short bones are somewhat shaped like a cube. All right. It's something that you're going to find, um, say, in your ankles. All right. Ankle bones, uh, wrist bones, wrist, wrist bones, toes. Right. These are short cubed bones. Right. That's what I call short bones. All right. Uh, let's look at our long bones since we are talking about long bones. All right. Long bones. This is what you typically find in your uh, extremities, your appendages. Well, how many P's was that? Uh, your appendages. All right. So basically, we're talking about your Legs, thigh, right? Hey, uh, arms. Right? So these are your long bones. Right? And actually, we saw we just saw the picture of a long bone there. Okay. Uh, let's see quickly. Hey, 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 where are you going? Okay. All right. So let's irregular bones. What's our next one? I believe we have on the list. All right, regular bones are bones that don't specifically uh, fit the rest of the uh, structures that we will talk about. All right, they're, they're not flat, they're not um, short, they're not particularly um, long. All right, so that would be something like your vertebrae column bones. All right, so basically, if you start talking about the vertebrae, um, those would be vertebrae. Vertebrae. All right, so you talk about your vertebrae, that would be your vertebrae columns. All right, so disc one, C one, C two, and Rest. All right, so those will be irregular bones. Uh, and your flat bones. Uh, your flat bones. These are things you find like your scapula, 
actually here I think I have a video for you not a video this is a video I have a uh, image for you here all right there you go all right so as you can see scapula you see how it's laid down flat all right so that would be part of it skull see this the way the skulls are shaped um, they are not long they're not short they're not irregular um, they're flat if you were to cut them up and put them into pieces they essentially they will be flat so that would be flat bones so while I have this up I may also take advantage and go over them because uh, I think we're gonna go over this later on in the bottom hmm. Sorry? yeah I believe so All right, before we get there let's 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 keep up with what we came up to do so we don't waste too much time I feel like we're probably gonna end up doing uh, two parts of this or actually many more parts of this alright so on the very outside here we had the periosteum, which is just a thin membrane that covers the actual bone. Once you cut past the periosteum, you essentially get into the compact bone. This is the this is pretty much what you think of a bone when you think of a bone, right? The periosteum, um, and then into the uh, excuse me, the the compact bone. Beyond the compact bone, you get into the inside here, which is nice and gooey. Uh, if you bite into a chicken. All right, so you get into the spongy bone. All right, and inside the spongy bone, you're gonna find the yellow bone marrow and the red bone marrow, which is not showing up in here. But you're gonna have the yellow bone marrow and the red bone marrow. Very important items because your yellow bone marrow is an easy one to always remember. Just think of when you think of a yellow, something yellow in your body. Typically, well, actually, I shouldn't say that because students always come up with urine as the yellow item. Uh, but fat, right? Fat storage, um, and then your uh, red bone marrow. When you think of something red in your body typically blood right so that's very easy to remember that's where you have your blood cells red blood cells white blood cells and uh, platelets all right so let's get back to that thing that we have and that pretty much covers everything that we just mentioned right yeah good okay let's move on then all right so the general composure of your body uh, now of course every individual is a little bit different but for the most part we are all composed of these. Uh, so basically, you have um, 80 axial bones and 126 appendicular bones. So just think of this sounds like a big word. It's really not, right? So appendages. That's all it is. Hey, appendages. Okay. All right. So appendicular bone. That's all it is. Bones of your extremities. Um. So 80. Uh. The axial bones. The axial bone is essentially what. Let's see. Let's get back to the image. All right. It runs down the axis. Right. Right, uh, runs down the axis, and essentially it also contains your major organs. So basically, your um, cranial bones, your thoracic bones, right, and your vertebrae, vertebrae. All right, so this would be the bones of your axial, and then the rest would be your appendicular, your arms going down. All right, all of these. All right, good. All right, so let's get back there. All right, so of the skull, all right, of the skull, of the skull is composed primarily of uh, three, four major sections. All right, we have the frontal. Let's get back to the image so you can see. All right, so we have the frontal, which would be the very front, obviously, the forehead. Uh, we have the parietal, right, which would be the uh, top. It covers top and it's split into, as you can see, well, this image is a little better. So as you can see, it splits uh, top and the size. At the very edge or the bottom, right, right about your ear level, you have your um, lower bones. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Get back up. All right, you have your temporal bone, and then in the very, very back, you have your occipital bone. Let's get back to the image so you can see it again. All right, so frontal, parietal, right, parietal, uh, occipital, all right, and temporal at the edges here. For your facial bones, since we already have this up, might as well look at the facial bones on this. All right. So on the facial bones, you have the nasal bone, you have the zygomatic. Uh, let's get back to our PowerPoint. Let's see. Was that our next item? Okay. Facial bone, nasal, zygomatic, mandible, and maxilla. All right. So let's get back to the image quickly. I'll show you. And the cheekbones here. All right. Zygomatic. The lower jaw is your mandible. The upper jaw, psycho, well, I'm sorry, maxilla. All right, and that's how it goes. All right, 
uh, and then it's a long list now even though I'm only giving you a very short list of the facial bone you will have to know a lot more of the facial bones for your um, for the quizzes I think I, in the quiz I include the palatine bones and uh, up there uh, what else do I include uh, um, I mean I think I include some of the markings so we will do the markings as well maybe in a different um, in a different slide in a different video all right so of the upper body and the arms all right you have the thoracic all right so let's go back and quickly look at this all right so you have your thoracic cage which is composed of one two three four five six seven nine ten twelve and another twelve on this size uh, so add them together you have twenty four individual ribs um, now the ribs themselves they're very seven first seven coming down those are known as true ribs because they have a connection all the way from the back from the vertebrae coming all the way to the sternum the breastbone and so those are true connections uh, the next three below it are not really true connections they're only connecting up to here right um, so they're not actually they do connect at the back but they do not connect at the sternum their connections to the sternum is really um, hinging from their connection to their um, to the other uh, to the seventh um, rib all right so and then the last two they are just hanging all right, so these are just um, floating ribs, right, or oh, hanging ribs, because it's not actually on there. All right, um, so that should cover some of this. It doesn't cover all of it; it only covers up to here. All right, so let's go back to the image. All right, so at the sternum, at the very top, you have the manibrium. Let's put that in, and at the bottom, you have the. Uh, actually, let's go back. Xiphoid process. Let me throw that in there for you on this slide. Where is our sternum? There you go. All right. So at the very, you have manibrium at the very top, and then you have the xiphoid. Then you have the xiphoid process. All right. So those are the parts of the. It's that. Come on, come on. There you go. All right. It's that into the sternum. All right. Um. Let's see. Right, so we have the clavicle, always easy for students to remember. This is what shows when you feel a supermodel, right? You want to show your clavicle off, let everybody know that you are skinny. All right, there you go. That would be a clavicle. And if any supermodels are watching this, um, it's not an insult. It's, I guess it would be a compliment. Um, yeah. All right. Now for the arms. All right, so we have the upper arm, we have the lower arm. All right, the upper arm is the humerus. All right, the humerus. And at the corner of the humerus and the lower arm, you have what is known as the olecranian process, uh, which is the elbow. That is the part that you love to hit because it makes you laugh. Actually, no, it does not make you laugh. It makes you want to cry. All right. So let's see what else can we add while we are here. All right. So we have the arms. The um, thicker one is the the thicker forearm is the una. And uh, Thinner is the radius. The radius. All right. All right. So let's see. For the pelvic girdle, you can refer to it as pelvic girdle. You can call it a pelvic uh, bones. Whatever term you use is all fine. Um, at the very top, right, we have the ilium, um, and then the pubic, pubic, pubis, pubis would be the uh, the narrow um, hole here. All right. These, uh, I believe, I touched you on the ilium just because there's another term that also is pronounced similar but it's spelled differently with an E. Um, okay, for your um, little bones that we talked about, I remember we talked about bones of the wrist being cubed. All right, so we have the carpal, uh, the carpal wrist bones, and then we have the metacarpal, which is your palms, and then we have the uh, phalanges, which are the fingers, uh, fingers and toes. All right. Um, so let's see here in the bottom we also have let me see move this image for you a little bit uh, no that moves all the way to the right uh, there you go all right so moving the image up a little more and right, we get to see a few more items here all right uh, so we have the femur which is the thigh bone connected to the hip bone um, then we have the patella we have the tibia and the fibula Tibia, uh, tibia being the thicker portion, which is more of the uh, medial, whereas uh, fibula will be lateral on the side uh, because you want your weight on the inside and your uh, balance on the outside. Connect to the hip bone.
like that. Oh. Uh, and then the tarsals, right? So for the tarsals, um, it, and really the the legs kind of imitate the arms, really. So just like we have the carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges, you have the tarsals, metatarsals, and um, phalanges. Uh, very very simple uh, way to kind of think of it, right? The arms, excuse me, the the finger arms, <coughs> finger palm uh, imitates the toes and feet. All right, so that covers that. We will be back into another part and do a little more of that. All right, so I will see you then. Uh, actually, let me get rid of this image here. Yeah, image, go away. There you go. All right, see you.